Hugh Harrigan is my name, the owner of the Boar's Head here on Capel Street, here since 1994. It's an early house here on Capel Street. We have a license from 7 a.m. to your normal hours, 11.30, 12.30 Friday, Saturday. No early license on a Sunday morning, thank God. We get a lie in on that, that dim mornings. But um, the business would have changed a lot over the years. Oh, you're having young set of keys. You're having young set of I like it. I love mixing with people. And whether it's chatting with GA or whether it's chatting with rugby or horse racing or anything, you know. And I think public houses, as they're known, shouldn't be called that. They should be called social outlets. Because I said, if you're given, if you're given three couches, a good value, and you have good surroundings, I said, people enjoy themselves. People like to unwind come in and talk about their problems at work, maybe their problems at home, like they could make a movie on the stuff that could be told, or maybe start a tribunal <laughs> as well, and that's what I've been told over the years, you know. But getting back to what you were saying, Huey, he does, he does run a good shop. That's a great shop. And it's one of these uh, shops that, uh, as Eddie was saying, you can come in and have your drink, there's no messing, no milters. See, I think the difference is, you see the way it's not. It's a, it's a government pub, but it's really a country pub. You take any country pub down, anywhere down the country, you should be on the worst of pub day in, day out. Not a double. They do a bit of part time, mate. No work a day in, do regular shit. You is one of the last. I thought you were out all the time about you. Talk to you, about you. Huh? He's good, but he's not that good. He does take time off. He does take time off. He actually works a really good time. He coaches the under 10s in Canada. Okay. That takes up a lot of time. Still works a regular right shift. And you go around there. He the works a regular shift. He's still coming in on his Sunday. Ah, it has changed a lot. You know, at that time when I came here first, there would have been 21 or 22 early houses. And now, I'd say you're probably down to four or five. And our busiest mornings used to be Monday morning and Saturday mornings. Now we don't bother opening till 9 30 on Saturday morning, it's kind of quiet. Saturday mornings I come in early myself. The blinds up with the door locked and the regulars now just tap on the door, tap on the window, three knocks, and I can go. And I can go off and do my work and I can leave them at the bar, the door's locked. And I'll get a shout, Hugh, I want a drink. They'll be up there stocking the bar. Or, you know, and there's a couple of them down there, I let them pull their own pints. You know, Big Eddie and Tony and lads like that. They say, oh, for Dunkley Shears. You know, so it's, that's the way they put it. The early morning business is gone, but I will not close it. As long as I'm doing it, and I'll be here, it'll not be closed. <laughs>